So then guys, as you know, I am a big Apple fan, but sometimes the macOS software doesn't give me everything that I need. And I do need to have, say, a Windows alternative. And that's why today I'm gonna to show you what I've done with my 14 inch MacBook Pro. I've actually installed a virtual machine on this. And then at the same time, I've installed loads of bits of software. And that software is come from Software Keep, who is today's sponsor. If you haven't heard of Software Keep, they are a great website out there and they sell 100% genuine keys and they are a Microsoft certified seller. And on top of this as well, they give you 24 hours, seven day a week, 365 days a year support for any of the keys that you buy from them. They sell Microsoft keys for both the Mac, so for example, Office for Mac, and also for Windows too. So if you've got either of these platforms, you'll know that you're safe, that you're definitely getting genuine keys from Software Keep for either of your machines, and you're not getting any dodgy kind of like malware or anything like that. Now, compared to all these other Software Key companies out there, what Software Keep are extra special doing is their customer service. So they give you all the help that you need to basically install operating systems, keys, things like this, anything to do with the keys that they have and what they sell to you, they will help you along the way. There's no kind of chat robots or anything like this. It's all real people. And they've also got how-to guides and tips as well to help you along the process too. What is super, super cool. Software Keep's goals are to give you guys the best service out there, give you genuine keys, and also give you the best prices too. And in fact, I think Software Keep are doing a superb job at this, that they've had over 100,000 reviews. You've heard me right there, over 100,000 reviews What are five-star reviews, because it shows they are really caring for their customers' needs. Well, with that, you're probably wondering what kind of codes does Software Keep offer? Well, they offer things like, say, a Windows 11 keys and Windows 10 keys. And in fact, I'm going to install Windows 11 virtual machine on my MacBook Pro that I have right here. And also, I'm going to install the latest version of Office 2 on this machine. And then after that, on my Windows PC, because, you know, at the end of the day, it is Windows, if you know what I mean, it does need an antivirus software on here too. And I'm going to install one of the antivirus that Software Keep have provided me. So with that, let's get started with the MacBook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to install my virtual machine software on this. And then after that, I'm going to download Windows 10 and start installing that first of all. So let's go and take a look. So I've downloaded Parallels Desktop 18 for Mac on my machine. And once that's all downloaded, you can actually download and install Windows 11 through Parallels. So, so that's really, really cool that you can do this. So, but you can see here, you need to activate this copy of Windows 11 after the installation. So I'm just gonna download it now. So everything is just running here. It shouldn't take too long. I've got about a one gigabit sort of speed. So as you can see here, all downloading really smoothly. Then once all validated, we can actually boot into the rest of the setup. Once you're all on the desktop, all you need to do is go to the start button and start typing in the word activate. And as you can see here, it says here, see if Windows is activated. So I'm just gonna select this. And as you can see here, Windows 11 Pro is not activated. But what we do have the option to do is click change here off the product key. And we can put in the product key that's been given by software key. Well, I'm just gonna put in now. And once that's in, we can then click activate this button here. And as you can see here, over the internet, it's gonna check the key is genuine and it is. So Windows is all activated. So with Windows 11 now installed on my MacBook, let's now look installing Office onto the same machine. What we need to do is actually log into our Microsoft account and then we can redeem our code. So again, with the same Office code we've got from Software Key, I'm gonna put this in. And as you can see here, I've got Office Professional Plus 2021. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna confirm that. And then in my services and subscriptions, as you can see here, it says here products that you have purchased and I can then install Office Professional Plus 2021. And after clicking that install button, then basically the software will download onto my machine. Once downloaded, the setup will begin and we can just leave this run. And there we have it. As you can see, we're all set. 
And now let's just check out that everything is working fine. So I click the start button. And as you can see here, we're going to go to Word. I'm just gonna type that in. I'm gonna open it up here. So once it's all open, I'm just gonna show you a blank document here. You can see there's no activation ribbon or anything like that. We are all ready to go with Office on this virtual machine. And there we have it, folks. We have Windows 11 and we also have Office on this machine, which is really, really awesome. And it was really easy to do with those software key keys. So next of all, let's now move on to an antivirus. And I'm going to install the antivirus onto my Windows laptop we have here. So let's take this over to my desk and let's now install an antivirus onto this. So I've set up my Windows 11 laptop on my desk and now I'm gonna download McAfee antivirus onto this. So I've now logged in and I'm gonna click download. And once we've got McAfee installed already, I'm gonna click install. And then basically we just leave this run. What's gonna happen is McAfee is gonna do a few checks on my Windows 11 machine here, just to check that everything's okay. I haven't got any, any anti other antiviruses installed and things like this before it installs its own software. What I think is really, really cool. Once the installation and the info check and the system check is all done, after this, all we have to do is just click on the install complete. And then we're on the main dashboard of McAfee, as you can see right here. So we can check our protection score. We can do a personal data cleanup. There's loads of different bits and pieces here. But one thing I want to do is I actually want to check out the antivirus. So all we have to do is click on this. And then what we could do is we can actually run a scan to complete to see if there's any viruses on this laptop. And this is a really, really cool thing to do. I'd recommend doing this straight away. And once that scan's all completed and everything's looking hunky-dory, the best thing I would also definitely check out is this option here. This is the secure VPN, what is really, really cool. So I'm just gonna click on that. And once this is all loaded up, as you can see here, it's really, really easy just to turn on. We just have to click on the Use Secure VPN. And yep, it's really, really simple. As you can see, we just have to turn on the big, big switch here. And basically what this will do is this will protect us from sort of um, protecting our sort of data, protecting where we're from and things like this. So this is really, really useful to have this inside McAfee. We can actually hide ourselves, especially like if you're connected to say a public Wi-Fi or something like that. So this is really useful to have. Well, there we have it, guys. That's how easy it is to set up a virtual machine with those different codes from Software Keep. It was so easy. And remember, guys, that you can pay for Software Keep via PayPal, via debit and credit cards, and different means there. And also that on average, it's about 15 minutes maximum to get your key back from Software Keep. On that note, guys, I can definitely say I've been really impressed with Software Keep. And in fact, Software Keep wants to give something back to you guys. They want to give you 20% off the whole shop. So anything on their shop right now, any of the codes, whether this is a Windows 11 key, a Office key or antivirus like I've shown you today, you can get 20% off it. And all you need to put in is the code MTT20 in the basket when you're about to pay and you will get 20% off whatever software key that you're purchasing right then. And with that, guys, it's time to also wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.